A science fair goes virtual. How to build a chatbot for your school in less than an hour. Cloud resources for researchers. The AWS Public Sector Summit goes online and more. This is The Brief for April 2020. A recap of the top cloud stories from Amazon Web Services for government, education, nonprofits, and healthcare. Let's take a look at some of the top stories from the AWS Public Sector blog for April 2020. So let's start in California, where the Santa Clara Valley Science and Engineering Fair Association went from a planned in-person event to a virtual science fair in just one week using Amazon Chime. More than 1,000 students presented their projects to 525 judges in almost 2,000 video conferencing sessions with a total of almost 70,000 meeting minutes. At the peak of the six-hour science fair, more than 800 meetings were held at the same time. Learn more about how they brought it all together on the blog. Next up, do you want to build a chatbot? Check out the post, How to Build a Chatbot, for your school in less than an hour. Chatbots are a great way to stay in touch with students, even if they're off campus. This blog gives you resources to get started today, including the AWS Q&A Chatbot Self-Paced Guide and several how-to videos and topics from deploying Q&A Chatbot using AWS Cloud Formation to how to enable multi-language support in Q&A Chatbot. While off campus, researchers at schools and universities are looking for new ways to complete their work. AWS is here to help. Check out the blog for a list of tools to help with high performance computing, virtual research environments, remote device monitoring, and more. And if you're looking for programs, awards, workshops, and education opportunities, we've got you covered there too. Check out the full blog for links. Next, one of the best ways to tackle complicated data integration is through a data lake, a centralized, curated, and secured repository that stores all your data, both in its original form and prepared for analysis. A data lake enables you to break down data silos and combine different types of analytics to gain insights and make data-driven business decisions. In this technical blog post, we walk you through how to get started today with a healthcare data lake. Look for the link to the full blog article above or below this video. In other cloud news, our new cloud adoption readiness tool, CART for short, is now available in more than 10 languages. With CART, you can take a brief survey and determine your next steps to the cloud. Also on the blog this month, we shared tips on how to raise the bar in storage, including ways to secure your business from ransomware attacks. Find links to no-cost eBooks, videos, and other resources to better prepare your AWS cloud environment. Finally, the AWS Public Sector Summit Online is happening this June 30th, and registration is now open. Teresa Carlson, Vice President of the Worldwide Public Sector at AWS, is guest hosting a special Fix This Podcast miniseries leading up to the summit. Each episode features leaders from across the public sector sharing how they use technology to help solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. You can listen to the podcast on any podcast streaming service, including Spotify. Learn more about the AWS Public Sector Summit online on the blog and our AWS events page. And stay tuned for next month's The Brief for more details. Look above or below this video for links to dive deeper into any of the stories from this episode of The Brief and stay connected to all of your cloud news on the AWS Public Sector blog. I'm Ray Rogers, co-host of the Fix This podcast, and those are your top public sector stories from April 2020. Thanks for watching The Brief.